Hello and welcome to the review of my Ravage Coin Bank. I hope everyone's doing well, everyone's keeping safe. Today I'm doing something quite different here. Recently I've moved house and I found that there's quite a few coins lying around just around the house and I just really wanted some place to store it neatly. This is why I made the Ravage Coin Bank over here. So this Ravage design is based on the More Than Meets the Eye Ravage design and I've made him to store quite a few coins um, as a coin bank should. So let's first take a look at his details. I'll spin him around 360 and you can see that all of this is quite comically accurate. And I could put a picture up there on the side so you could um, have comparison. This tail is, there's a string inside that these tail pieces that allow it to move freely. So you could pose them however you want. You could pose them around his side as well. And this is quite an important component, his tail. is. This is what you pull out to take the coins, as you can see it later. So let's continue turning around. There's his spine. Um, you've got these little pistons here. And you've got a little gap in the head so you can open this head. And that is where you put his coins. Okay, back here. So first let's talk about articulation. Um, for a coin bank, he's quite articulated. So first, you open his head, and this is where you put in his coins. So that's one point of articulation. You can have him growling at your wall, if you do so desire. Close it back up. You've got, um, you've got a rotation here, at his front paws. You've got a bend at the elbow, and you've got a paw hinge that hinges back and forth. If you rotate him on the side, the missiles do rotate up and down as they're on these um, as they're on these pegs, that they're quite thick pegs. Um, and they just go in quite nicely. Um, onto his back, as mentioned before, he's got this tail piece and it's got a thread point for uh, where these um, holes align and this is how you attach his tail. And I quite like this tail, it's quite fun. You could sort of have it curled, you could have it around his missiles, have it anywhere, and I think it's quite fun. So let's talk about the um, coin bank feature now. It's quite a long review for such a simple gimmick. Open his mouth. There is a large slot in here, so I have tried the largest coins, so the two pound coin, the 50p coin, they're quite large. And I, I think there's a few Australian coins that are quite big as well, that I have found lying about in my apartment and those fit into there quite nicely as well. So for the sake of the example of, of the existing coins I have at the moment, I've got uh, a 20p, a two 20ps and a 10p, and that's what I'm gonna to use today. These are quite small, but you can see that there's quite a few, quite a large space remaining when entering his mouth. So you've got that, drop it down, drop it down, and drop it down. Close it back up and he's had his full meal. All right, let's rotate it and get the money out. Take his coin again and plug his butt. And there you go, you've got your money. So let's take a look at the tail. You've got the prong bit, the spike bit, the tail segments in the files you could find that these are called the tail segments. Um, and for, I think this length of a tail is very nice. Um, you could print however many tail segments as you want to make a longer tail or a shorter tail. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven tail segments, and this is how long the tail is, which I think is proportional. Then you get the, um, this end, this cork thing. This cork bit that attaches to another thicker segment and finally that attaches to the part that attaches to his butt. Because I was using the Photon S, the Anycubic Photon S to print this Ravage, the build plate isn't big enough for this whole thing to be printed in one piece. If you've got the same problem as I do, it's not a problem anymore. As I've split this middle piece into three sections, you've got the lower piece that has been split to left and right and then the neck piece as well 
the neck piece attaches to the head piece. You have to glue the pieces together, but after you've glued them together, there you've got this massive ravage. But now it's quite useful actually, it's very useful. Here he is with a another 3D printed ravage. Um, I found him on Thingiverse um, he, and he transforms into a USB. Um, he's quite cool. Um, but here he is with another ravage. And here he is with another ravage. So this ravage is basically this ravage printed in a 10% scale. And I made his files compatible with the Siege ravage. Um, so he has now been transformed into the Modern Meets the Air Ravage to scale with my Hot Flame and my current Lost Light collection. Here he is with the only surviving member of my 3D printed Transformers from back in back at my old home. Uh, I took Rewind with me um, and here he is next to Rewind and you can see how massive this Ravage is. Overall, I'm very happy to have this Ravage in my collection. It's very useful and it's very satisfying to hold such a large piece of Transformers print. There's, there, there were a few times when, out of the corner of my eye, I did think that this was a real cat sitting at the bottom of my floor. Um, but it, of course it's not, it's just Ravage. I do enjoy him and I hope you enjoy him as well. Thank you so much, thanks for watching. And if you're free, check out the my other videos as well. Thank you so much, thank you. Goodbye.